Alright, it's Lynn here with another video, and today we will be doing a video on the Intel HD 520 graphics built into all the new Skylake Ultrabook CPUs. Now, the particular CPU that this model of the graphics is built into is a i3 6100U. So it's not the fastest processor out of all the, the SKUs that this graphics processing unit comes built into, but it will give a good demonstration of what this is capable of and can you actually game on built-in graphics in a Ultrabook. As you can see, the numbers are on the screen for the specs, for all the people that want to know the spec. Also, I forgot to mention that the games that I will be benchmarking the integrated graphics on will be Trine 2, Black Ops 2, Battlefield 4, Minecraft, and Rocket League. Now, these aren't the newest games, but these will also give you a good representation of what to expect out of the performance of this chip and it's most likely games that people will actually be playing but i would expect people to play on also smaller games because this isn't built as a primarily a gaming laptop anyway we'll roll right into the benchmarks and i'll be right back the bone crusher but how will they deal with the witch all right now that you've seen the performance of the intel hd 520 graphics you can tell that it does perform quite well in the games that i selected and i did not pick the most most demanding or the newest titles on the market but 
I did pick some games that I would expect people to be playing on graphics and a laptop. I wouldn't expect them to be playing the newest AAA titles or Battlefield 1 or anything like that on here. They did very well in the games that I picked with Minecraft averaging 109 FPS. And Battlefield 4 was the title that I threw in to more of tax the GPU a lot more and see what it can actually handle. And that was not quite as playable as I would like. I did not drop down the resolution, but at 1080p with the lowest settings and as low of a resolution scale as I could tolerate, I only got 27 FPS average. Now for Black Ops 2, it averaged 59 FPS and Black Ops 2 still looked great at the settings that I had it on, even though they were the lowest. Rocket League dipped down some. It was a little bit jittery, but for the most part, it was completely playable and also averaged at around 59 FPS. Trying 2 was a little bit more maybe taxing, but I expect it to be not quite as optimized as some of the bigger games. So it only got 42 FPS average, but for a game like that, that really didn't bother me and I really didn't notice it. So for overall, this was a very great gaming experience for most of the smaller titles, and uh, I wouldn't be gaming at uh, with any AAA titles or even the newest AAA especially titles on here. But it did perform very well, and uh, I would definitely say you can game on them. That's it for this video. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you didn't like it or anything, go ahead and hit the dislike button. If you have any questions or or anything else go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching have a great day